Matty Barry, co-owner Cream Tissery Bemigui on the New South Wales far to south coast. Uh, we took over in September 2019, so been in business about six months. We do handmade cakes, pies, pastries, uh, great coffee, uh, special occasion cakes and lunch and breakfast options. We took over only six months ago, so it's been a whirlwind six months for us, but Cafe ownership has always been a goal of mine. I've always been in the hospitality industry and studied tourism and hospitality management at university and coming back to my hometown and owning a business here has always been my goal. Business as usual for us is probably 80% day in day out customers. Uh, when we took over, there was a kind of older demographic, pensioners come in, you know, running their daily errands, grab coffee, a piece of cake. We tried to, well, we're trying to turn that around to appeal to a broader demographic. Uh, we're a young family, so drawing, you know, other business owners, young families, people that are a bit busier, but really immersed in the cafe culture that our town really demonstrates. Uh, business as usual now is obviously very different. We have no dine-in uh, capabilities, so it's all takeaway. We've restructured our cafe so we can only accommodate two customers at a time, and we've reduced our trading hours significantly uh, to kind of not encourage customers to unnecessarily leave their house. Coming off the back of uh, losing a bumper summer due to the bushfires, it's been a tough break to miss out on Easter as well but our customers have responded really well and we've changed our business structure to meet their needs in providing kind of different products. We've cut back on our cake production. Obviously cakes are a bit of a luxury item that uh, people in isolation and who have lost income and not necessarily purchasing. So cut back on cake options and uh, added in some take-home meals, which was kind of a medium to long-term business plan for us anyway, to introduce more cafe-style meals. So we've thrown that into the mix and our customers have responded really well. Uh, the biggest thing for us being a cafe is having customers come in and sit down, have a chat, debrief, be a bit social, which coming off the back of the bushfires has been huge. And for them to not be able to kind of hang around and chat with us and with other customers is a big change and you know that social interaction is huge for a small town to miss out on that everyone's struggling it's made us really focus on what our product usage is we cut down on waste being um, handmade cakes and pastries a lot of our items are single day shelf life so to be able to look at our expenses and our food costs it's really um, helped us rein that in as well as um, utilising our time better as business owners. We've still got great regular customer base, which is amazing. It's part of their social activity. We're situated in the main street across the road from a bank and post office. So for everyone to be running their daily errands and then be able to come in, pick up a meal to take home and a coffee, it's really working. But we have drawn in new customers that are just looking for something easy to put on the table for dinner. Everyone's working a little bit harder at the moment. So to not have to think about dinner at the end of the day, that, that option is there for them from us. As a small business, it's so important to know your customer base. So for us to recognise really early on what their demands are as customers, what products they want and don't want, we've had to adapt really quickly. We've put some more products on the shelves for take home, um, take home baking activities that people can do whilst in isolation as opposed to coming in and buying a single cake has made a huge difference. Um, so to be able to recognise changing customer demands quickly and knowing who your customer base is has really helped us meet the changes required. That's a tricky one because coming off the back of the bushfires, we've all been so rattled anyway. But I think just focusing on, biz as business owners, focusing on your mental health and making sure that there's a work-life balance when you're trying to cut back on staff and, or look after your staff or both making staff cuts whilst trying to look after them, you take up so much more workload without acknowledging it. So to focus on having a work-life balance when there is no end date to this, I think is really important. Mm -hmm.